All right, Abzan Doom. This is an archetype that we had played a little bit of in standards in seasons past, and we haven't really touched it this season. I kind of have low expectations going into this. Um, decks that are playing four mana cards like this that don't impact the board are a tough sell against against Brazen Borrower, and Brazen Borrower is kind of like one of the defining cards of this format. It's in the Adventures deck, and like even card decks that aren't playing Brazen Borrower, a lot of them are playing um, a lot of them are playing Tefri, which while not instant speed, is a very similar effect, just the the tempo that it generates. Um, as far as this specific build goes, not playing for Golden Egg seems like it might be might be a mess. Um, someone asked about Agonizing Remorse. One of the tough things about a deck like this is your primary source of card advantage is Trail of Crumbs here. And this says whenever you sacrifice a food, you pay one to look at the top two cards, you can grab a permanent card. So every non-permanent card you put in your deck, you can't get with this. So that kind of puts you in a bit of a bit of an awkward spot. Um, interested to see if Conqueror's Death feels good in this deck. Um, Conqueror's Death, while obviously a very powerful card, and un honestly one of the best white cards in kind of format defining, it tends to shine when it can return good things from your graveyard to play. And this deck only has Liliana, Goose, and Cat to get back. So we're kind of narrow on that aspect as far as things to return. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop in a standard event with this one because the last few days that we've been playing standard brews in the ladder, it's not been kind, so... I'm going to start, start here with this one and see how it goes. Well, the one, th that's, that's such a good quote, Garden Variety Trail, right? Like, even one of the things you really learn when you really start to gain more knowledge is you realize just how little you know. The people, the people who are most knowledgeable know how little they know about most things. Okay, let's uh, take a crack at this here against the Adventures deck. Curving Othakaya into Doom Foretold. Should be relatively strong for us, that's exciting. We played a Grixis deck in Pioneer and it did very Grixis things. had a bad clock and mediocre interaction and it died very horribly. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it looks like there's five pioneer decks left in the queue for now. That are back from before I upped the price. Since I since I increased the cost of adding Pioneer decks, we've had very few submissions. So I expect we'll play a little bit less of that format, a little bit more things of my choosing. Felt the burn this morning. Thanks for getting out to vote. I and this God, it feels bad to say this, but I I don't feel like I can genuinely encourage people to go out and vote today. I think. I think it's incredibly irresponsible of all of the states that are still holding primaries today. There were a number number of articles that talked about different places um, having 
Yeah, I have a forked code base of Deckmaster that someone did some changes to me for. I haven't had time to... I need to, like, take an entire day to sit down and go through it and understand what I need to do with it. They should have pushed the primaries back a couple of weeks. They should have extended early voting via mail. There were a lot, a lot of things they should have done. Return to nature. Sure. Cat's actually a great draw here. Although I guess return to nature makes it matter a little bit less. Uh, their, their deck plays Fey of Wishes, TDM. So that's why we see the card in their hands here. It's one of the reasons why the Teamer deck is so powerful is because it's able to gain access to its sideboard cards, game one. Yes, voter voter sites being closed due to this is really bad. It's going to make the spread worse. <clears throat> Hanks Blade Queens. Hey, if the world really does end, we won't need dollars anyways, right? I'm not really sure that Doom Fortal is actually going to be good enough for this matchup. Can use the dollars for TPs once for toilet paper once we run out of it. Ain't that the truth? Like, once upon a time, like the the card advantage from Doom Fortal, like getting a two two, they discard, we draw. This really ground people out. But like this teamer deck, for example, just draws so many cards between the Escape the Wilds and things like Tamiyo and now they're playing Uru apparently and Innkeeper, they just generate so much card advantage. Uh, excuse me, Virtuoso, we are not a democracy. We are a constitutional republic, actually. Lesnia champ. Thanks for the 11 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Looks like they're escaping Uru here. Elspeth can at least conquer that, I suppose. Yeah, we're just, we're just watching Idiocracy in real time. Yeah, I mean, Uro seems good in their deck, right? Just, like, put good cards in their good deck. Seems like a pretty, pretty fine thing to be doing. Whoa, 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 Niv. You can't... You can't try to refute my positing of the definition with, like, words and meanings of things. You have to just take what I said at face value without actually looking at it below the surface at all. Come on, now. You can't, you can't expect me to do things like know what words mean.
Trump does, uh, from my understanding, well, I don't know if Trump's going to be talking, but from my understanding, the White House is going to be doing daily, daily, pol daily press briefings. Just in case there's any other conservatives out there who haven't really been paying attention to my channel, if you're going to show up and tell me that you disagree with my politics, but you like my content, just bugger off. I don't need your money. Like, if you if you are telling me, if you are telling me you disagree with my politics, what what you are saying to me is that you think people deserve to die because they can't afford medical treatment. What you are saying to me is that you think people should be treated less than because of where they come from, what they look like, or what they believe in. Those are my politics. My politics are the politics of treating people with decency and respect unless they open their mouths and prove to me that they don't deserve decency and respect. The Snooty Newbie. Thanks for the third of a year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. So just, just in case my politics aren't clear, I believe in treating people the way they show me they deserve to be treated. Give, give everyone a fair shake until they open their mouth and prove otherwise that they don't deserve that shake. Thanks for the brand new prime support. Jamir, I appreciate that. What if I agree with your politics but dislike your content? That's fine. My content sucks. Just hang out for my politics. Well, so it's important to understand that I didn't I didn't say you should treat everyone with respect regardless of who they are. What I said was you should treat people based on the contents of their character. So when people open their mouths and show you that they don't deserve your respect, you shouldn't give it to them. But what you should do is give people a fair chance to show you who they are, regardless of what they look like, where they come from, who they love, what they believe in. You can and should ostracize people and tell them to pound sand if they show you they're awful people. What you shouldn't do is assume people are awful people based on just who they are and where they come from. I'm not, I'm not sure we can win, right? Like, I have one card. Like, they just have in, infinite threats here. Maybe the cat can block. The Shadow Spear just means I can't even chump block, right? The fact that you assume everyone who disagrees with you is evil is ridiculous. Well, I'm going to ban you so you can bugger off. I didn't, I, I literally, I like how, I like how, um, like, I just give that speech and talk about how you should give people a chance and you should show people, give people the chance to show that they're reasonable. And then someone shows up and takes away from that, that speech that I think everybody who disagrees with me is evil. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, my words have meanings. My words, my words have meaning. Don't, you don't get to put words into your mouth. You know who I think are evil? I believe people who are evil that don't do the things I just said. People who judge others based on the color of their skin or where they come from or what they believe or who they love. Those people are evil and they don't deserve to have space here in my content and they can bugger off. And if you actually understand what's going on in the United States today, you will understand that the Republican Party, the GOP, does not treat people with decency and respect based on what they look like. You are treated better if you look a certain way by Republicans. That's just reality. They are a sick, twisted, bigoted party. And if you aren't a racist, 
but you vote for and put racists into power, your ac actions are racist. It doesn't matter what you profess to believe. If you are giving racist power, you are acting in a racist manner. Sorry, that's just the reality. I don't, I don't care if you think the tax breaks are convenient for you, if you have enough money, but you think, mm, I don't like the racism, but I like the tax breaks. Like, sorry, you're evil. That, that makes you evil. I don't, I don't think you're evil because you disagree with me. I think you're evil because your actions are creating evil in the world. I am judging you based on what your actions do. My wife is, my wife, uh, my wife is Korean. She was adopted. I cannot tell you how many times she had been told she should go back and apply for citizenship by people who are jerks. The amount of time she's been mistaken for other ethnicities is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I think, I think that's a big, a big part of what I think a lot of people don't get of how I feel here is when I talk about treating people with decency and respect what I mean is the people who have shown me that they, that they just like, you should give that as the base level. But when people show you they don't deserve that, when they act in a way that shows that they don't treat others that way, they need to work to earn my respect back. They don't, they don't just get it once they lose it. Thanks for the tip, Sheriff. I appreciate the support. We'll love a black source here. Round out our colors. Or green white hydra sounds good. Look at that. Get that added to the list. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and oath Akaya here and then plan to probably Doom Foretold next turn. We'll activate the goose with the food here. This will be a good example of if our deck is capable of keeping up with what their deck is capable of pumping out. So Trail of Crumbs is like our prime source of card advantage. And if our card advantage can overwhelm theirs, this will be a game where we keep up. Howdy, Fisherman. Thanks for the two months, Dragon. I appreciate that. Welcome back. It is it is a wild concept for many. Yes, Trump didn't just tweet COVID-19 calling it a Chinese virus. He called it that in his first press conference too. He's, Trump is not capable of not making even a pandemic about racism and xenophobia. Zed Rate, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Hoaglandia. I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat the cat now, but we'll wait to bring it back. I wanna eat the cat now, so that way they can't like bounce my trail in response and deny me a card draw. Had to sub for the piping hot tea you're spilling on this channel. Well, I appreciate it. Folks like you keep me here spilling, spilling what I can. I don't know. I have some vain hope, some small bit of optimism left that maybe, just maybe, Trump's befuddled response to this pandemic combined with the fact that it looks like the Senate GOP is going to be voting against helping normal people, that maybe more real live humans are going to realize that the GOP party does not represent or help them. Like, it's just, 
It's just mind-blowing to me how people just constantly vote against their own best interests. We played a Grixis deck in Pioneer, and it was not a particularly good seed. I disagree with your decision to get your beard trim. You're allowed to disagree with that. It was getting long enough that food kept getting caught in it. It was super inconvenient. Oh, I forgot to attack. You're super, right? All right, if we lose by one point, it's on me. I appreciate you pointing that out. What's wrong with the opponent's deck? I thought they were guaranteed to draw Clover in their opening seven. That's a good point. They should file for compensation. So, like, I'm a slob, Koshadan. So, like, it wasn't just the mustache that was getting in the way. I was, like, collecting, like, sauce and stuff on my chin. Like, picking, picking my spoon up with my soup in it and bumping my chin while I did it. Just, it wasn't a good scene. It wasn't a good scene, chat. Pickle Bolas, thanks for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Those are called leftovers for later. <laughs> I like how there's multiple people in chat that are like, Jeff, that's a feature, not a bug. Uh, just to curb the spread of misinformation, the CDC did not officially recommend shaving beards. They just pointed out that certain configurations of facial hair, hair make using a ventilator difficult. Is what is what was happened there with CDC recommendation. So I can't actually kill this with Doom Foretold because she stops us from making them sacrifice things, which is awkward. So I gotta spend two oaths here. Thanks, party bus. I definitely fumble the ball on 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 more than one occasion, but I'm I'm okay at it. High high level magic, yeah. And again, this feels kind of like a good example of why this deck can't really keep up. Last season, this deck did well because it was one of the decks that went bigger over the top of, of what other decks were doing. And here, like, we had our card advantage going right off the bat this game. And, like, the card advantage that our deck is capable of generating just can't keep up with what the opponent's archetype is doing. So like I can I can play this and like I can sacrifice stuff for a little bit, but like they're gonna keep just drawing so many cards and putting more things in play that my Doom Foretold really can't keep up here. They're gonna they're gonna provide bodies to sack to Doom Foretold more than I can, I think, even. That's so weird. Every time I call people out on their on their nonsense, they always double down and don't actually give me the citation I asked for. I should just block people from the beginning. I've given I've given too many people a chance lately, and every time I give them a chance chat, they disappoint me and I know what the end result's going to be. I wanted to say that Warpath Jeff is my favorite Jeff. It's sad to see logic, decency, and inclusivity require a Warpath, though. I agree.
I had, I had someone, I had, I had someone try and give me the old classic both sides-ism this morning. I do. I appreciate you thinking of me. I'm sure there's other people in Oaklandia that would love them if you wanted to give them away to someone else in the community. <laughs> Listen, we aim to please Gunther. We provide valuable timeout services here. Is that it sure? Thanks for the five months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I paid you 1k to love me. I do love you. I do love you, Punchworthy. There's some decent people out there. It's just, when I say don't give people a chance, what I mean is there's, per there's small warning signs that you can tell from the language people use that means that they're, that likely means they're not going to be reasonable. And every time I give them a chance to maybe prove that those warning signs are incorrect and they could be reasonable, I'm just very disappointed with the result. All right, so at this point, I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana total. So I'm actually not going to pay again here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just bring the cat back. We're going to shock the land in. We're going to Kaya plus Doom Foretold here, which is going to kill some more of their stuff. They still have four cards in hand here, though, so we'll see if we're able to keep up here. Like I said, if we lose this game, I feel like this matchup has to be unwinnable. Whoa. You better watch your back from here on out. And I had I had a very enlightened centrist on Twitter this morning tell me tell me that both sides of the political spectrum run on platforms of bigotry and hate. And when I asked them to provide a citation of a progressive or even a neoliberal running a campaign based around bigotry and hate, they declined to provide an example, which is really weird. Try it out Rangers in the Soul Sister deck. I'm not saying it's good, but it does feel great. Yeah, that's probably a good inclusion. Like two to three at the top end doesn't seem unreasonable, especially because you can get Sarah Ascendant with it. Can you provide an example of both sidesism? Both sidesism is exactly what I just described. It's when it's when it's when you point out something that conservatives do or one side does, and someone responds with, "Well, they're all the same," or "They all do that." And then when you ask them for examples of how they're all the same or how they all do that, and they just like sit there and chirp crickets at you. The, the concept of both sides-ism apply... We're dead here. They're going to get a Shadow Spear and give this Trample, and then Trample plus Fling kills me. Um, yeah, that's how that's how the Team Adventure deck wins. Fling is very stock in the Team Adventures deck. So Shadow Shadow Spear to Trample over my cat. Fling to kill us. I'm doing, I'm doing well, Shadow Spear. Shadow's fall. We're, uh, we're nice, and, nice and wound up. Yeah! Yeah, Biden, it's like the debate was actually a good example of a, kind of a dem on dem both sidesism, where Biden, Biden in the debate, Bernie called out Biden for leveraging his super PACs. And Biden was like, you have super PACs too, Bernie, want me to name them? And Bernie was, and Bernie just point blank said, yes. And Biden just awkwardly chuckled and none of the moderators pressured him to name the super PACs he claimed to be able to name because they don't exist. Yeah, that was something that happened in the debate for people that didn't catch that part. Well, to be fair, at one point, Elizabeth Warren's thing was she didn't use super packs. And then, you know, like the flexible vote chasing person that she ended up being, she changed on her changed her tune on that. Yeah, Warren is not Bernie. I I agree. That's why that's why I ended up backing Bernie. 
Yeah, bo both sides isms, both sides type things are very similar arguments to um, what about isms. It's a form of distraction rather than engaging with the point at hand. Yeah, it generally speaking, as someone that grew up in what I would consider, what I would call, tell you is a conservative household, I heard a lot of both sides isms growing up. And the purpose of making people feel like both sides are the same is intended to create apathy because if everyone's the same, nothing matters. And if nothing matters, you shouldn't vote and shouldn't be involved and shouldn't care. And if you shouldn't be, it's political pocket sand. It's a great way to phrase it. Hit them with the pocket sand. It's, it's a distraction to kind of make people apathetic because if people apathetic, it's beneficial to the status quo. Biden did lie a couple of times during the debate. <sighs> Rumple Smith, thanks for the half a year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Unfortunate that we paired into the same thing again here. That there, uh, honestly, there hasn't been a ton of variation in the standard matches lately. It's been Teamer Adventures, Fires for a lot of our matches. Those are the two really good, really good decks in the format right now. Burn Ash, thanks for the brand new, the brand new, uh, or brand new, the 12 months sub, brand new mod. There, I can fumble and get my words. Let's get you a sword. Yes, at the end of the stream today, we're going to be doing a sponsored segment for a uh, indie game called Legends of the Keepers. I found, um, I had a website reach out to me that works to pair streamers with specifically indie games for doing sponsored content. And I like I like exploring extra little things like that. So I'm not gonna replace magic content hours with other extra things, but I figured if I was gonna poke at some indie games anyways, I might as well stream them. If I can have people pay me to stream them, might as well check it out. Yeah, yep. And I, I decided they let you negotiate rates with them. And like this one, for example, I gave a good rate too because they have a native Linux client, which is great for people. For people that aren't aware, I do I do all my streaming from a Linux computer. Hashtag, hashtag superior operating systems. Um, so things things that support my platform of choice, I definitely don't mind giving a deal to. I think I need to hit a land this turn. Uh, one incubation in their archetype is pretty normal. I'm going to concede this match. I'm going to go play an unranked match and see if we can get a non, a non teamer adventures matchup. I'm going to be taking less standard brews between now and when the next set drops because standard standards been rough the last couple of days. It feels, it feels like an incredibly disappointing vault. It feels like it's just been a really Yeah, your your Hydra is one of the last ones I said. I've rejected a couple after your Hydras. 
Yeah, the the t the play patterns of the top decks are, um, I would entertain a build around submission for Pioneer if it's something that I think is worth exploring. But if it's something more out there, probably not. Pioneer's in a similar spot where like the good decks are really good and the bad decks are kind of mediocre. Like, I actually don't think, so like, if you enjoy the play patterns of the good decks in Standard and Pioneer right now, I think the formats are fine and they're reasonable and they generate good games of Magic. It's just the good decks in these formats have become optimized to the point that like the decks that aren't good really struggle on average. So it's not, it's not, these formats aren't super conducive at the moment to doing the types of content I largely do on this stream, which is trying to like explore new ideas. The exploring new ideas and brewing a bit, that's something that tends to be more successful in developing formats, right? Yeah, and that's, that's pretty normal. Like that's not a super critique of standard. That's just like how it is. It's like a feature, not a bug. One of the reasons why I've talked about being super optimistic for Historic in general is because Historic is a format that's going to um, get new cards every six weeks, so it'll stay fresh longer, basically. Yeah, it's a different deck full of ramp spells that's stopping the format. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I think Wizards hit a really sweet spot with Historic where they're adding that injection to Historic right about the time they really need to. I think they did a really good job with it overall. So the Legacy and Modern decks in the queue, they are simply going to compete in points with Pioneer decks. So my, my morning stream segment is just going to be Magic Online decks in general. So whatever Magic Online format has the most points at the start of a morning, that's what we'll play that day. So if there's Pioneer at the top, we'll play Pioneer. If there's Modern at the top, we'll play, mo we'll play Modern. If there's Legacy at the top, we'll play Legacy, etc. Oh, cats. Um, I feel like I'm just supposed to Doom Foretold here, huh? Uh, these basics are purchased with your credit card. They cost $12 worth of gems in the store. Yeah, they did play a green source. So if we can avoid them getting a trail of crumbs, our Doom plus trail should hopefully bury them. I really like how these look in arena um i wasn't a big fan of like the energy lands i don't really like how they look when they're on the battlefield but i think they did a really good job of shrinking the artwork down on these I'm actually going to take the extra land for now. I just want to hit all my land drops this turn so I can draw as many cards as possible with these.
I believe spoiler season starts next Monday. Usually it's about a month or so. So they're going to lose an oven here. Or they might sacrifice the cat and just go without food until they draw another creature. They said the 26th. Wow, that's pretty late. I guess it's like the end of next week. That makes sense. We have our own ovens in play now to offset the balance on these. I'm going to sandbag this Othakaya for a little bit until they, uh, in case they draw Mayhem Devil. Uh, they actually, if you went, if you got 10 wins in the MCQ, you got, if you got 10 wins in the MCQ, you actually got, uh, 3,000 gems. They upped it a little bit. A lot of LGS are going to close if they get bad turnouts for pre-releases. I feel for the people who are running small businesses, they should be closing. Running pre-releases in the current environment is incredibly irresponsible a lot of a lot of businesses are going to get hit hard by this and the government needs to step up and do what's right i think i want any of these cards D Spark and Con Conqueror's Death tags Mayhem Devil, but I've got Oath plus this plus this for, Ma for Devil. I've got 10 ways, so. Watsy told them they can just sell the pre release packs so people can walk in and buy them and leave. Yes, that is fine. That is, that is, that is fine. Yes, that is that is a great example from War Dave. You want to support local businesses. One, your local game store has to just buy a pre-release pack directly, buy a gift card. Do not do not contribute to the spread of a pandemic through bad habits by trying to save a local business in a in a way that's going to be detrimental. I just need to kill that. We're just looking for lands at this point. I also wouldn't mind a oven, and I wouldn't mind a uh, trail of crumbs. That's that's fantastical, Brandy Savage. Illinois primary worker having to turn away voters because the supplies for voting never showed up and no one is answering their phones. I've been pretty proud of how the Illinois governor has handled this thing in general. Except for the fact that they didn't cancel the primary. Right, let's try one more here.
I think everyone is going to be quarantined in their homes. I think if this thing gets taken seriously like it needs to be, most places are going to end up... If they're playing Teamer, I'm going to concede. I don't want to play against Teamer again. I don't think this deck can win that matchup. Um, things are going to end up like LA, where everything other than police, fire, pharmacies, and grocery stores needs to close. You can easily vote by mail, Singer. All right, I'm gonna try one more crack. There's just been so much Teamer in this deck. This deck and decks like it, they just can't keep up. Teamer just goes so far over the top in terms of card advantage. Gatherings above 10 people are off limits in LA County now. Good. Hick a huck. Thank you for the two years of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. You stay safe as well. We are we are living in a very historic moment. People, people are gonna look back on the moments that we are living in right now, and people are gonna be judged based on how responsible that they were. And right rightfully so. How people act during times of crisis gives you a real insight into who they actually are as a person, not just what the persona that they put on to be accepted by society. It's a good draw. No! Oh! Oh! Magic Arena! Come on! Auto Tapper! What? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In a new poll, only 40% of Republicans believe the coronavirus is a real threat, down from 72% last month. Have I mentioned that the United States is largely, largely just going to get bent over? That we are truly, truly screwed? That people who are still conservatives in the United States are devoid of reality and factual information? This is your brain. This is your brain on Fox News. Ooh. Oh, are they playing? Oh, they're playing the combo deck. Sick. That, that, that right there is why the government needs to step in and start closing things because people are not going to take this seriously. So they have they have a freebie. One of the neat things about this deck and one of the reasons why I'm... <laughs> All right. All right, I'm done. I'm done. B. Williams, thanks for the 14 months. I appreciate this. Welcome back. Mercy. 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 All right, we're going to add a third historic deck today. For, pe for people that need a concise wrap-up on, on this one, I always, I always believe in doing concise wrap-up. So if you click here, then the second button from the right over here is this. You'll ask you to confirm. And now the deck's perfect. Actual... Actual perfects can't do any better. All right, I'm gonna restart the client and tweet and stuff. I'm gonna hit a quick ad roll while I do that. When we get back, we are gonna kick the tires on some Abzan Field of the Dead frog here in Historic. Be back in just a few. Thanks for hanging out today, folks. Don't go anywhere.
Yeah, that's that's literally how how libertarians work. FMC Sunshine. If actual libertarian societies existed in the world that were functional, everyone in them would likely die. Most of the people in them would die under under something like COVID. Because in their mindset, the government is never supposed to do anything like that. Hey, Alucard. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Glandia. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday wherever you are. Staying safe out in this crazy world. 